I grew up as a happy-go-lucky shy kid who was a big nerd, but I didn't grow up with a lot of friends, if any. And I was picked on in school, which gave me a sense of worthlessness growing up. Because of this, I ended up having social anxiety disorder and was diagnosed at the age of 25. It was hard for me to talk, make friends, and just be a normal person. I was your extreme in introvert to top it off. Well, because of this, I got into drinking and drugs early, which seemed to cure me from my anxiety and help me to be an outgoing person. During this time, I was trying to fill a void in my life and trying to help my anxiety. And the fact is, I wasn't actually helping myself by drinking and doing drugs, but I had to lean, I had to learn this a hard way. My life before Christ was bad, as you can tell. For a time, I thought I was in control over drugs and alcohol. I felt like the void in my life was, was gone for a short time. I enjoyed being able to communicate with other people and being able to make friends. During this time, I decided to study other religions to find out the true meaning of life. But the one thing I really got into was positive thinking and studying how the mind works. I love the idea of being able to control my thoughts and make my life more positive by reprogramming my mind. I thought if I can reprogram my mind to not be anxious, to not fear anything, to finally help my anxiety once and for all, it would be a great thing. All I had to do was reprogram my mind. This reprogramming of my mind seemed to help my anxiety and help me to be more successful, but it didn't fill the void or hole I had in my heart. There was something still missing in my life. I just thought if I could figure it out, I would have it all together. At the time, God was still void in my life. The positive thinking helped for a while, but ultimately it was all just the same thing over and over again and my anxiety was still there. I still wasn't happy in my life and I was still missing something in my life. The drug of choice for me finally came down to alcohol. I had quit drugs with the help of NA and AA and some belief of a higher power I had conjured up, which boiled down to a God that did what I wanted him to do for me. I finally stopped drinking on my own. I had enough of the DTs. Once I stopped drinking, my anxiety hit me again, but this time harder. So I soon started smoking marijuana to calm my nerves and help me relax. I now had smoking cigarettes to deal with, which I knew I needed to stop. So I got in a prescription of Chantex and tried to quit. During this time I was taking Chantex, but I was still smoking cigarettes and vaping marijuana with high doses of THC in them. Three weeks in, I blacked out and woke up in jail. I had blacked out for three weeks. The guard said I acted, I acted crazy in jail for that long. All I remember was while hallucinating, I had a Bible put in my cell. I threw it out of my cell, and the next day it was in my cell again. <laughs> yes, God. This time I decided I should read it. So I read it, and the next day I actually was acting normal, or so the guards told me. <laughs> it took me three more days before I realized I was in jail. I was in the darkness but came out into the light. I found God, and he had saved me by reading the Bible. God's truth freed me from my lost state. For the first time in a long time, I knew Jesus was my savior. I had a peace that was not explainable. I felt love beyond belief. My anxiety wasn't even as bad. I knew I found something awesome, Jesus. I still struggle with anxiety, but I, I know God can take that away if it is his will. I now know I had victory over those addictions in Jesus. I now love myself truly and don't have to use positive thinking anymore. The only positive thinking I do now is thinking how good the Lord is to me and the positive things he is doing in my life. I also realize that God is real and alive. He is a one true God. Since coming to the UGM, I've gained more maturity in my life with Jesus. My relationship has grown deeper than I ever imagined it could be. Even though I still suffer from social anxiety, I will no longer go back to another life without my Lord in it. I no longer crave drugs or alcohol, which is amazing. I realize how now or how futile my search for another God really was. There is too much proof the Bible is real. Look at how many prophecies are in the Bible and how many are fulfilled. History and archaeology have proof of some of the places and people in the Bible that they have proof existed. Our God is real and he lives. He is a son. He has a son that died for our sins. Jesus is my savior and will always be that. 
I now see a future that can make me happy. I plan on going to school after graduation in graphic design. I will follow the Lord wherever he leads me. We just need to realize that God loves us. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Our God loved us so much, he came down and sacrificed himself for you and me. And that void I once had is finally filled. I no longer search because I found what I was looking for the whole time. Thank you.